So, Ken, when you, you have a situation where you have three consecutive games where your team builds up a third period lead and then it doesn't end up with the result, what do you do to sort of, you know, keep things positive while putting in place the teaching moments that are there for the group moving forward? Well, I, the positive stuff is, the, is, is obvious, the 40 minutes we played, but I, I don't, I think the games, the two games in, on the road were similar. The one in Chicago was, that was our goalie saved us for 40 minutes. We, we didn't play well. We, we looked like we didn't have energy and we looked like we, all the stuff that we'd done on the road well, we checked well, we really managed the puck well, we stopped doing and so we were vulnerable. But to me, we just, uh, we threw that game away and we're back on what we did well in Montreal and what we did well in Philly and continuing to try to grow there. But I, I think it's pretty obvious. Our game is all connected to checking. And when we check well, we're a very good team. And and uh, and that's that's hard to play that way for 60 minutes. But you know what? The teams that are doing it are the teams that are keeping their goals against down and, and, and winning hockey games. And you look at the teams that are emerging out of the West and, and – in, in especially in St. Louis and uh, Dallas, and they're doing it with defense and checking and puck management, and that's what we got to get back to. Uh, based on morning skate today, it appears that Kyle Brodzik will be a scratch. Uh, just a, a thought uh, on you know why that decision was made. Uh, we need better. We need better from that position, and so this is an opportunity for Malone and, and Cave to look see what we got there. But we need better from that position. We need better five on five play. And we need much better on the PK. So um, um, we'll see how we uh, we'll see how we do today. Uh, it's Manning. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Manning and uh, um, Benning are a pair. And when you put Toby with those two guys, are you thinking, okay, if you can't score with these two guys, you can't score? How does the coach look at this? Is it, you're, this is a perfect option. They're going to get you. They're going to find you. If you're gonna score. Yeah, I, I think we look at it that. The, what, the way we'd like the player to look at it is what an opportunity and I got to take advantage of it and that's what we're looking at is who, who's going to step forward you know you look at with Nuge today it's um, it's Luchik and uh, you know who, who gets to take advantage of this because we, we would like someone to emerge and and uh, and be a good balance for that what that line needs so obviously that line needs a form of physicality there but but physicality with a little bit of finish, if we can. So we'll see how we, we see how we look. But it seems to be uh, our left side the, seems to be something that that is in a constant state of flux because we can't we we can't seem to have an extended program of consistency there. We we get going for a couple of games and then it it falls right off. And I, I think you can see if it just kind of falls a little bit off the cliff, but it seems to fall right off the cliff and. So we're, we'll continue to explore and see if we can get to be consistent. St. Louis and Dallas experiences, uh, you've had a lot of time to coach against Miko Koivu. How different is it to prepare for this Minnesota team without having him in the lineup? Um, not a lot in that their structure is so sound. They're so, like I see a lot of the things that Bruce has in place that Mike Yo had in place and they're, there's a lot of qualities in their team. You know, they, they, they check well. They, they, they manage the puck well. They, they, they play a very experienced game. Are they going to miss this guy? Where, where I think they're going to miss him is, is his ability to negate top players. That's going to be hard. And, you know, I think they look at Erickson Eck having this unbelievable opportunity, and they hope he takes advantage of it. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of players in the league that play against this team that are thinking that, Finally, we don't have to play against that weight and size that he brings to the game because he's a very competitive guy, and I've seen him wear down a lot of good centers. And you know, he's that, that's a tough news for them, but tougher news for the individual because it's a long rehab coming back. Willie um, Harvey, where he's playing, does he deserve to be up higher, or is he? That's where you want him. Oh, that's kind of what we like. You know, he's in the 10 to 12 minute range. We like it right now. Um, Energy-wise, uh, we tried to squeeze it further, but he seems to drop off a lot, Jim. Uh, so we're gonna we're looking to get 10 to 12 minutes. We want good quality minutes, and in three of the last four games, we got it, and we're happy with it. And 
we were very happy with his game coming off the road. He did not have the energy at home that he did on the road, and nor did a number of guys. But we're, we're kind of prepared to write off that game to see what we do tonight. But um, it seems that when we get him in a higher minutes total, uh, he, you know, the energy drops. So we're, we, we're looking for high energy. And if we think we can get to 10 to 12, that's real good for us. And that's what we're looking for. We got him on second unit power play. Um, so he's getting his little uh, picks in there, but anything that's uh, double, anything that starts off in double digits is good for us. Chris Russell looks like he struggled a little last night. That pair has struggled. I don't know if he's tired, but he, uncharacteristically, he just kind of throwing the puck away. Well, I think we're paying for the overextension when when uh, we had the injuries, and I think we we're paying for it. We're trying to get as much rest as we can. We're trying to shorten things up for him and Darnell. And that's why Manning goes in. We, you know, we wanted to reward uh, Gravel played so well. We wanted to reward it, but we we need more of a balance with the two, last two pairs. We need the, those guys to play kind of similar minutes, other than special teams. And I think we were extending that pair a little bit too far, and we got squeezed because of it. And Petrovic just hasn't shown you enough in the practices to get into the game. Yeah, correct. Yeah, uh, we need we need. Uh, you know he's part of the mix, but we we'd like to see a little bit more, a little bit uh, uh, more composure with the puck. You know, and if we do, then he'll get a chance to.